Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution for the lead code problem maximum sum circular subarray. So this is quite similar to the maximum sum subarray which we can solve using divide and conquer or Cardenas algorithm. But there is a little twist here that the array is circular meaning that we can think of it as a circular array where it is 1, minus 2, 3, minus 2 and then again back to 1. And from there we can have any subarray but non-empty subarray which is having the maximum sum possible. For that we need to find the maximum sum possible. So the answer will be either one of two things. So the answer will be the maximum sum subarray which we can find using a Cardenas algorithm or it will be by subtracting because it is circular so what we can do is we can subtract the minimum from the sum. So suppose sum is positive. So if we subtract the minimum from the sum, so this can also give us our maximum subarray answer. So it will be either the maximum sum subarray or it will be the sum minus minimum sum subarray. Why? Because if from the total sum, if we subtract the minimum possible sum, of continuous subarray, then we'll get our answer. So the answer will be either of these these two. So let's just code that, and then we'll think further of any other cases. So first things, if uh, the length is uh, uh, zero, then we return zero because there is no uh, zero is because there's no elements. Then we'll find the maximum sum subarray and the minimum sum subarray and the total. Sum. So let's say int sum is equal to a of 0 and then int max here is equal to a of 0 int min maximum equal to a of 0. So initially we'll keep the first element in uh, everything int minimum is equal to a of 0 int min here is equal to a of 0. So max here is the maximum sum possible till this point. Maximum is the maximum sum subarray. Minimum is the minimum sum subarray. Min here is the minimum sum possible till a point. Then like we usually do in Cadenet's algorithm, we'll just uh, traverse through the array length and i++. plus plus. So let's say uh, int n is our latest number which we find. So max here will either be starting again from this number meaning that the maximum of this number. So the maximum will either be this number or this number plus the sum so far. That is max here. And maximum will be the max maximum of uh, either maximum or max here. So math dot max, max here, comma, maximum. Okay, so what we're doing is we're finding the current element and either we'll get the maximum sum by adding this or by taking this itself. So that we're calculating. If uh, n or max here plus n Whichever is greater will be our max here, meaning max till here. And then likewise for minimum sum subarray. So I'll just write it down. This is for maximum sum subarray. And this will be for minimum sum subarray. So uh, for minimum sum subarray, the same thing. Min here is equal to math dot min this time because we want to find the minimum. So either n will be the minimum or min here and adding n to that will give me the minimum. Then minimum is equal to the minimum of that if it is less than minimum. So minimum is equal to math dot min of either min here or minimum. So this, with this we've got 
max here and maximum and minimum and then we need as I said we need one more thing that is sum and that will be simply the sum plus a of i let's just do that in the beginning so with this we've calculated three things we've calculated sum maximum subarray maximum sum subarray and the minimum sum subarray now what we can do is either we can take the maximum sum subarray or we can subtract the minimum sum subarray from the total array and either of that will give us our answer so return math dot max of sum minus minimum either taking uh, what is left by subtracting the minimum sum subarray for the sum or the maximum sum subarray but there is something still not correct with this there is something still wrong with this and what is that suppose that the sum is the minimum sum subarray so in that sum minus minimum will give me zero why because I am not taking any subarray but here we have to say that we have to take a non empty subarray of c so in that case oh, we have to return if sum is equal to minimum then we have to simply return the maximum sum subarray so that's it what we are doing simply is finding the maximum sum subarray or finding the minimum sum subarray and subtracting that from the sum and whatever we are left with either that sum or the maximum whichever is max we are returning that however if sum is the minimum then as we have to return a non empty subarray we will simply return the maximum sum subarray for this if you need to understand this you can think of it uh, you can take example like 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 1 so if sum is minimum we will return 0 but 0 won't be the answer the answer will be what minus 1 so let's try to submit it let's try to run it first okay okay so it got accepted so again in a chill what we're doing is we're finding because it's a circular so either we can find the sum and minus the minimum that will be the maximum or simply the maximum sum subarray using Cadenet's algorithm so that's all thank you